Hi, this is Dora. Um, thanks for talking with me just a little bit this morning. I just wanted to show you this quick video, um, a couple things you can do to get more traffic on your website. So I'll just jump right in. So first, uh, I do a Google search just to see um, what's available out there. Uh, and right now at the top, it's ads, so they don't really matter. But down here we have um, what is called the Google Map Pack. And this map pack is an ideal place to be because most people will just click on one of these businesses uh, because it's easy and it's right here at the top. So you can get onto that Google map pack as well. You just need to make sure that you have a Google business page, make sure it's completely filled out and make sure it's optimized with lots of optimized pictures. And then you'll just want to get as many citations as you can. So you'll just go to directories and you will add the information exactly like you have it on your Google business page. And then that is considered a citation. After you do that for a little bit, then they'll be like, okay, hey, this is a real business. And then you'll start to rank. So that will help tremendously. It will pull in quite a bit of business if you'd like. Um, as you can see here, these are directories. So they don't really count that much. Um, I don't count Mr. Handyman and that's just because he it's a national company. Um, so I think that it's best just to go to your nearest competitor that's a regular competitor in your area. So that was Handyman Los Angeles. So let's just look at your site real quick. You know, you've got a couple pictures. Um, that's great. Uh, you'll, ha you'll have to, you'll probably want to get some more testimonials if you can. Uh, all right, there you go. And you've got your information, your call now. Um, it's a clickable call now, so that's perfect. People really like that because they're using their phones a lot these days. Another thing you might want to do is to put a form up here at the top, a call to action. For those people who really don't like to get on the phone and wait, that way they can send in the information and then you can reach out to them um, at your convenience. So I would definitely add some more content to this if you can. Um, and I just mean... You want to add about 1,500 words of content. And that's just because when Google searches your website, they not only check to see if you've got you know, relevant information, they also check to see how many words you have. And that makes a big difference on whether you can get onto the first page of Google. So Handyman Los Angeles, you know, they do have a little bit more on here, some more pictures. So these are just kind of some examples of what you might want to consider putting on as far as you know, not necessarily the same thing, but, you know, something along these lines. And they don't have a ton of content, so it probably wouldn't be super hard for you to get up and start outranking them if you were to add content to your site. That would just be one of the things you could do. Um, this is a program called AREFs, and it kind of shows me a little bit about what's going on with your website. Um, so right now you have a domain rating that's actually probably zero. This is pulling from whoever hosts your site. Um, so it doesn't really, really count as far as that goes. And then your URL rating is a zero. So you can increase those by getting backlinks. Um, so what a backlink is, is just when somebody else says, oh, hey, these guys are great, and they put a link back to your page. It could be Instagram or Facebook or um, maybe somebody's blog or another website. So that is called a backlink. And when you have those, you pull some of the power along from their site to your site, which helps you to rank higher on Google also. Um, I'm, your, competitor do, your competitor does have some, so I will show you how you can get those yourself. So um, you do have one keyword. Um, well, it's not showing me what it is, though. So anyway, keywords can also be super important. And that is because, you know, when you fill out that page, like I said, and add all that information and content, um, you're going to use specific words. So whatever it is that you really like to focus on, whatever your favorite thing is, if it's fencing, you're going to want to use that in your um, in your your content and or maybe you like to do tile um, so there's lots of different ways to utilize keywords and after a while um, people will you know be looking for you know somebody a handyman who does tile in Las Vegas and then or Los Angeles and then you're gonna start popping up so this is your competitor um, let's just look at their overview first so as you can see they do have a domain rating of 40 and a URL rating of 11 but what I really want you to look at are these backlinks um, they have over a thousand of them 
But backlinks have their own power and they have their own trust. So that's what I was talking about. You can pull some of that trust and some of that power to your site. So you can use other programs besides AREFs uh, and you can go through and find these backlinks and you just click on each one of them. And I know there's a lot of them, but you won't regret it because after a while you're going to have all these backlinks for yourself and you can do this with your other competitors too. So eventually you have their backlinks from all these different people. So you have more, you have more power and you rank higher. And then one last thing we'll look at are their keywords. Just to give you an idea, you know, there are 700 people who look for a handyman in Los Angeles every single month. Um, these are the people, the traffic that they're pulling from this right now. So they get 40 people reaching out to them just because they're ranked number six. You know, imagine how much traffic you get when you're in the top three all the time. So there are tons of keywords here. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them, but, you know, 200 look for handyman services, Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles handyman service, 200. Um, so, you know, there is tons of volume available and it just depends on what you want to focus on. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, just a few things that you could do yourself to improve your ranking on Google. And that way you could pull in more customers that way as well. So thanks a lot. I hope you have a great night and I will reach out tomorrow.